Hi, this is John Musgrave for Music Radar, and in this video we're looking at Odin 2 from plugin developer The Wave Warden. Odin 2 is a hybrid synth design that provides plenty of flexibility combined with a powerful oscillator section, alongside typical features such as LFOs, envelopes, and onboard effects are some excellent power options. For example, the three filter modules include tasty emulations of Korg, SEM and diode ladder style filters. Meanwhile, the arpeggiator step sequencer features two modulation lanes for step parameter modulation. Other worthy aspects include the assignable XY pad, up to six voice unison, and a powerful modulation matrix. However, it's the core oscillator options that deliver much of the flexibility. Key synthesis types such as analog, wavetable and FM are joined by more interesting examples such as vector, phase modulation and even a dedicated chiptune oscillator. Meanwhile, you also get three waveform drawing options, wave draw, chip draw and spec draw, so you can create your own oscillators from scratch. Odin 2's layout is straightforward and features a number of clearly labelled module panels. The three oscillators are at the top and just below you'll find the output amplifier section flanked by two filters. The next row comprises the envelopes, the third filter and the effects. At the bottom left are the LFOs, XY pad, mod wheel and pitch bend. Finally, the arpeggiator, modulation matrix and preset browser share the tab panel at the bottom right. In the top bar you'll find playback mode and unison on the left, and the main outputs plugin initialize and settings menu on the right. Oscillator and filter types are selected from their respective drop down menus and this also allows you to bypass each by selecting no device. Odin 2 also offers some flexibility with regard to signal flow. This is handled at the filters where you can select the source oscillator or oscillators. By default, filters 1 and 2 are in parallel, although you can put them in series with filter 1 feeding filter 2. Each filter also includes a routing selector to connect it to the amplifier, and you'll need to deactivate this for filter 1 if you want true serial operation. Note, each oscillator can simultaneously feed both filters 1 and 2, even in serial mode, so be sure to double check which options you have activated. The output from the first two filters then passes through the amplifier section, which includes pan and velocity sensitivity. Next comes the distortion effect. Use the button to activate the distortion and choose from three modes, clamp, fold and zero. Following this is the third filter, which acts as a global filter prior to the five output effects. To help with navigation, Odin 2 includes a handy tooltips option, which you'll find in the settings menu. And if you want a deeper explanation of any features, then you can also download the manual from the Wave Warden website. Building sounds in Odin 2 is reasonably straightforward. To start from scratch, select the reset option in the top bar. This provides a basic patch with one analog oscillator feeding one low pass filter. All other aspects are bypassed and this provides a good basis to try out some features such as the envelopes, effects, arpeggiator and mod matrix. The mob matrix is very flexible and in addition to the regular depth and routing options also includes a scaling modulator allowing you to select a further modulator to control the depth of modulation. Other modulation aspects to highlight include the global LFO and global envelope which work slightly differently to the regular LFOs and envelopes. Both of these operate once on all voices collectively. Here we've set up the global LFO to control the amp gain. As we play extra notes, you'll hear the LFO is controlling them all in the same way, and will only restart once we release all the notes and play some more notes. As mentioned, Odin 2 has a very powerful oscillator section, and sticking with one active oscillator, it's easy to check this out. More basic options include the analog and noise modules, For more complex sounds, check out the wavetable and multi, which is a four voice version of the wavetable oscillator with detune.
both wavetable and multi have the same selection of 35 wavetables and you can move through the table using the WT position control. Also pretty flexible are the FM and PM oscillators as you can choose from a plethora of source wave types for both carrier and modulator. These include individual waveforms from the 35 wavetables as well as waveforms from all three drawing oscillators. Rounding things off is the chiptune oscillator which couples retro style waves and a noise option for creating authentic tones. It also includes a three step arpeggiator which is great for creating those classic video game effects. As mentioned Odin 2 includes three oscillator drawing modes and these are perfect if you like to shape sounds from the outset. Spec draw is great for quick design of additive tones. The display starts with the fundamental at the left hand and further harmonics moving right. Use the cursor to set the level of each to taste to create everything from bell like tones to bright harmonic rich sounds. In contrast if you prefer the subtractive route, wave draw is your weapon of choice. The oscillator loads with a sine wave which you then modify to taste using the cursor. The third option, chip draw, also provides freehand drawing but this time starts with a square wave. The oscillator design is 4 bit and this is indicated by the stepped behaviour as you begin to draw. Finally, whatever oscillators you choose, Odin 2's filter section provides a lot of sonic flexibility. Quality features to try include the transition control on the SEM emulation. and the juicy resonance and saturation in the diode ladder. The Korg 35 style filter meanwhile comes in both high pass and low pass variants. For more obvious tones we also really like the comb filter and formant filter effects. If you don't fancy creating sounds from scratch, Odin 2 has over 200 categorised presets which you can also use as a springboard for creating your own sounds. In addition to a good selection of pads, bases and leads, we particularly like a number of the art patches including CineDrive, MIDI Rain, and minor song. Meanwhile for more sound design uses check out the drones folder. Rounding things off are a good selection of effects including risers, down sweeps and weird effects. Finally if you like Odin 2 then you may want to check out other products from the Wave Warden stable including their spline synth with spectral wave morphing and the rather excellent step based effect Filter Force Pro. For more information head to thewavewarden.com